All right, so this is the water detector on the paperclip breadboard powered by 2D batteries. On the left, we have our two leads, which are coming from our circuit board. We stick them in the water, and we get the activation of the LED light. These will also activate if you touch both of them uh, with your hands. So that's an, also a detector of uh, human touch. Only when you have both, though. And as you can see, um, on the very top, if we look at this from the top, we have a positive rail on the top and a negative rail on the bottom. So, there you go. So you can see each rail is independent and we simply crimped on our uh, paper clips right onto the rails and of course onto our electronic components. Um, now you see over here for the lead, this is the lead wire right here. Um, I just wrapped the speaker wire right around it and it, it works pretty well. Uh, up here, it was a little, little more diff difficult to um, to get under it. It was a little tighter, so I just put a paper clip, um, you know, to get under there. Which I probably want to bend that over so it's not so sharp. Uh, let's see. I did use uh, glue to hold down the rails here, but I found that the the best um, holding these down is actually just electrical tape and a little bit of Elmer's glue around the edge of the tape to ensure that it uh, doesn't come up. Uh, so what else? We're using a paper clip to do the bridge. So we're going from the uh, negative rail, uh, power rail to the first, to the first rail on the circuit board. And we're just using a green LED. All right, so as you can see, we got the two batteries, uh, two D batteries over here on the right. And all we did, we have neodymium magnets on the ends, you see in the middle, of course on the end. And so, like I said, the, the positive is the top rail and the negative is the bottom rail. And that's how you power your homemade circuit board. And this, of course, is a water detector circuit and a human touch circuit. All right. Have fun making those circuits. Take care, everyone.